I forgot you're 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 over here with your new Galaxy S4 uh, Siri 10. Yeah. Apple Plus. Welcome to the podcast where we talk about anything and everything that comes out of the crapshoot. I'm your host JD. This is my co-host. Piss the piss the fuck off. James. I call him James. Everyone else calls him Jimmy. It just works like that. Yeah, it's it's a little bit fucking angry. A lot of things happened this week, James. Yeah, I'm a little fucking angry this week. First man. of all, I spent the entire week doing training for my new job. And uh man, it's uh pretty solid. It feels yeah. pretty great to know that you are the like one of the worst performers out of all of your peers and your or your coworkers in your workplace, so that's good to know. That's what you learned? Yeah, that well that's what I experienced. <laughs> failure <laughs> like i walk into the training room and you know obviously for this uh i'm in this i'm working as a dealer for one of the big casinos you know that right i already told you about it yeah i, I know that. it's it's one of the bigger it's like one of the I bigger ones that. so uh so everyone here are like uh pretty high experienced dealers like 15 plus year, like five plus years experience dealing so they're all they're all pretty solid. You know how many you know how much experience I've got, James? How much? I've got zero gambling experience and also three months of dealing experience. But didn't you break down how gambling works to me a couple stream a couple uh, pods ago where I well totally I, I I broke down how video glaze over. <laughs> I broke down to you uh, how a video gambling worked, like the machine gambling. Oh, that's this is like table thing. games, you know, like. You have physical not, cards in your hand and not Oh, these ones aren't pay to win. And these and this one isn't isn't uh you you playing against a machine, it's you playing against other people. You're saying you in the same way Charlie does. <laughs> or fucking MIP. I don't know. When you said you and you you I was like, oh my god, what are you MIP? You <laughs> and then if I had a webcam <laughs> you'd see my you would see only my hand cover like 75% of the screen pointing at you. Hyper realistic depiction of your hand, which was mm-hmm. already weirdly realistic. It's even more so now. Yeah. So it's uh but hey, you know, I still went there. I went there all mm-hmm. technically you're only supposed to go there, uh or I guess they they only schedule you for training. Like for like a couple days to uh three days. But you could go in every day if you wanted to, and that's what I did. So you know, just gotta just gotta catch up to the catch up to the uh competition. You know, you catch just up to the peers. Get you, get you get you get your head in the game. I know that when I was in when I was in dealer school, a lot of my uh a lot of my fellow students, they were they didn't uh they didn't even go for the uh, opportunity, you know, to to work at some of these large casinos. Because they're like in their head, you know, they they do the James thinking where they're the beta male thinking where they're like, oh my god, I'm I'm only a new student and I'm not I'm not good enough for it, so I'm definitely not going to get in, so I won't even try. And so you know, who's James? You, you <laughs> <laughs> with the finger pointing. <laughs> it's it's you, James. It's it's you, you, James. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so they were they were like, oh no, no, I'm not ready for for this. But then, and me and William, we were just like, fuck it, let's just do it. And then so we do it. Uh, we get a little embarrassed because we're the worst ones there. And then we get in. And sometimes you just got to take that. Uh, it's just a life lesson, guys. Just just take that opportunity. Sometimes you know, even if you think you're not ready, you just just jump right in. Doesn't matter if hey, there's guys. alligators in the water. Hey guys, JD and James from the Crapshoot Podcast here. Now we've all had a nice fun night, but sometimes you just got to take that leap into shark infested water and hope for the best that you aren't bleeding, but you are, you are bleeding. You, you are bleeding. It, it, you, you, you're bleeding. It's uh, it's you, you audience. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a live like a live show that's the bit we're doing we just keep pointing out at them yeah so i used uh you yeah it's paid it was paid training by the way so i do do get paid the average salary for which of which i don't actually know still so nice yeah get that money and pay me back yeah it's this uh it's this phone here this new phone i got 
Galaxy S24 Ultra. There's like three different versions of it, and I got the Ultra version because that was the one that was on sale. On sale for That's 20% when off. Like, hey, we'll give you money to take this it's off. It's an expensive hands. phone, James. It's it it cost me almost as much as the money that William gave me after he won all the times he gambled. It it costed you, Shady. <laughs> Yeah, I saw. I I looked up. A, actually, the first pers- first person who brought up a new phone to me was actually my mother. I was just using my normal phone, um, and I had it like set. To, I put it down on a table, and I, and I walked away. And it came back after a while, and my mother was there staring at my phone, and she was like, "JD, JD, disgust. did you did you get a new phone?" And I was like, "No, this is the same phone I've had for six years." And she was like, "Hmm, you don't you want a new phone?" And I was like, I don't know, I guess I could use a new one. This one's kind of old. And it uh, doesn't handle things as well as it used to. Also, battery life is pretty bad. And she was like, and I was like, yeah, I might just get a new one after I, uh, you know, get paid for my job and just buy, buy one. And she's like, but why wait? Just do it now. And I'm is like, all right. Is your a fucking salesman? What, what is she doing? <laughs> no, she said just do it now because uh, was it, wasn't there a holiday coming up? Memorial Day or something? Memorial Day, What, yeah. what is... Yeah, May 29th, right? Were you about to ask what Memorial Day is? No, I, I, was, I was asking what holiday was coming up. Mm-hmm. But I interrupted myself and said Memorial Day. Just, to, you know, because I remembered. You saw as a I was saying form it. in the air and point at you, and it was... Yes, yeah, so I looked it yourself. up and I saw there was a deal happening, and I was like, oh, it looks pretty good. So instead of like $1,600, this phone is like $1,000, so... <laughs> money and you know i realized that this is basically just like a the phone is so good it's basically just a tiny computer in my in my hand the power yeah. of the sun the power of palm. ai in the power in the palm of my hand can you say it like Todd apparently Howard? that's that's one of the big features about this phone is just there's a ton of ai stuff on it wow does it what is have you used any of it um i don't think so actually siri no blow up the world i mean i think i've used the the one the ai just optimizes battery usage and that's about it but there's a there's a couple cool things on it there's like a uh, really easy reverse image search type of thing on there Ooh. where where if you you can like take a picture yeah. of something and then just circle it and it'll like reverse google search it to, and tell you what it is you know so if i see like a funny looking if I see like you know Dan Aykroyd's Crystal Skull vodka, vodka, and I, I take a picture of it, I'm like, ah, what, what is this? I circle it, and then it'll reverse Google search and be like, do you want to buy Dan Aykroyd's Crystal Skull vodka? It'll, it'll just be a very close picture of uh, Dan Aykroyd's face staring at you. I can take a picture of you, James, and circle you, and it'll try to it'll, and it'll see if you come up on any Google searches like your face. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll literally come up for the one picture of me there is online that I hate. It's it's the, <laughs> it'll be the one thing that pops up. There's a picture hate, of you online hate, that you hate. That fucking article, yeah, dude. I hate that article so fucking much. What is it? Because <laughs> they didn't tell. They like ambushed us. I don't want to like say it because I don't want people looking it up. But uh, like, it's. Can you send me a link of it? <laughs> You'll use you it probably don't have a link of it, but. <laughs> that no, sounds really funny up. to me. I can look it up because if you like look up my full legal name, you'll find it. Really? Again, that include like your middle of... name or? Uh, no. Uh, because it it's, it includes both me and my dad. Oh, and... from the. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Please bleep that out. I don't want people finding this. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I, I should bleep that out. <laughs> let me, let me, let me, time time, let me write down a timestamp of that real I quick. A, I gotta get a stopwatch one of these days so I can keep track. Uh huh. There we go. Nine nine forty. Wow. Oh, picture? it is a picture of you. <laughs> yeah, they didn't. They kind of ambushed us with it. It was really the awkward. title is so bad. Actually, it, it makes what's, no sense. It's a terrible the, title. <laughs> from left and his food? son also oh, pick yeah, up their food no, order from it. restaurant. <laughs> what? I hate it. Can you send it to me? Because I want to look at the picture. I hate it. But like, yeah, it's like a. Uh, can I send you just the picture? Yeah, you can save the see. picture, I'm sure. No, like, 
I, so to explain it, we were just going to get food. Like this was. Oh, a there you go. Yeah, like, it, sh- it shows up there. Oh God, I'm in my shorts. Yeah, I forgot I wore shorts. Oh yeah, time. James, were you? Ugh. Were you? Were you a little bit? You were. You were a pretty small boy back then. No. <laughs> when, when was this? Oh, this was four years ago. No, I'm still as big as ever. Four years ago, James. I'm still a balloon. I don't know. You kind of look. You kind of look. Uh, you kind of look a little fit in that picture. Not gonna lie. That's when I got my hair cut. <laughs> that was my when you had short hair. hair yeah. Gotten. That was literally the last. Maybe I maybe ever I'm got. not just I'm just not used to your short hair, but it looks not great. No, I'm gonna be honest not, with you, James. No, this was a little bit after it grew in, so it didn't look good anymore. Oh, I see. But at first, it was really good. Mm. It's like an actually good haircut, but I do not like going to that barber because of how awkward it always is. So I've just, that's kind of been why I don't want to go back to get a haircut. It's like, I like that barber. I liked him a lot. Uh, and it was, it, it was a good haircut. I just don't feel comfortable. <laughs> it was very weird. Why? Yeah. You, wait, this article doesn't even have a, oh, read the full article. Oh, the full article is, is the restaurant closing? Yeah. So the restaurant was closing. And uh, and then, it, so what I food. found, this snippet I found is just this picture okay, and the context behind yeah. the picture. That's why the yes. title is so weird. Oh, so, so the reason they took this picture is because the restaurant's just closing and they just so happened to get you in that yeah, picture? Yeah, that's, that's what it was. It was. This was my dad's favorite restaurant. We learned it was closing. And uh, we were going to get food. We were going to go eat there, but we couldn't because they were closing. So we were ordering out to uh, go pick it up. Cause, oh, yeah, because of COVID as well. Um, yeah, and this we was in, during COVID. And it's me and my dad, and we look over, and there's this guy just standing in the corner of the room, staring at us, not saying a word. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, we tell the lady, hey, we're here to pick up our food. And she's like, oh, okay, here, let me go get it. What's your guys' names? And we're like, my name. And she's like, cool. Goes, leaves. I'm we're James, and this is James. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because that came in a few seconds when the guy then approached us and said, hey. You guys picking up food, huh? Hey. Yeah, man. This, this guy's a huge. So, uh, uh, hands, you, you guys are picking up food, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was MIP. It was yeah, literally no. MIP. We we he had this huge camera in his hands, and he like we're we're going to get the food, and we're like, yeah, we're just picking up, and he's like, cool, I mean, it's cool, a good, it's a know. nice looking picture. How long you guys been coming here? It's not of me. I hate this picture so much. I look so bad in it. It's it. You're really photogenic. I just have to say, I'm not. You're very photogenic. He he waited for me to lower my head, so then the fucking double chin hit. <laughs> I appreciate like, that. I appreciate way, him. He, I, I imagine him staring into his camera, like staring at this shot, and just waiting for the perfect moment because he's like, oh, these guys just they just look a bit too good here. Can we just no no? Just what did he take did? a second? What he did is we were getting the food. We were handed the food and we were about to leave. We turned to go out the door and the guy goes, oh, wait, before you guys go, can I get a photo of you? Mm-hmm. And he's like, yeah, you know, we're for this, uh, this edited. With, I'm a photographer for this, uh, you know, website and everything. And we want to cover yeah. the restaurant closing. And, you know, we wanted to get a picture of the people that came in and whatnot. Mm-hmm. My dad goes, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he's like, yeah. Can you can you go back and can the lady look like she's handing you the food in the moment? Oh, okay. So this was a staged photo. Yeah, which you, is why I look so you're fucking the fakest. Awkward you're it. the fakest person I've ever known, James. Literally just plastic. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, yeah man well, made. made plastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's molded. It's 3D Some Ken's printed. Got muscles. I didn't. It's 3D printed. Yeah, so you go and po- you have to pose for this picture. Yeah, and like we're standing there for like I feel like half a minute, and like I kind of like every now and then would look over at the guy. And he's like, you know, just getting ready, and we're like, okay. And I'm holding the food this whole time as she's like daintily grabbing the top of the bag to make it look. In like these she's pictures, she's not even grabbing it. It's just it's no, like the, right in the moment let of like letting go. It's it wasn't even that we were standing here in these poses, which is why my dad's just staring. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, it, it was really awkward. We took the photos. We left. We never thought about it again. Then my dad Googled our names because uh, he, yeah. he was like, oh, I wonder what just pops one up. day or. Yeah, it was just after a while. I think like we were Googling uh, our family and everything to try and find our lineage. And my dad looked up. Yeah, you were, you were like uh, Googling your grandmother and 
telling everybody and telling everybody the story about how your grandmother knew like tom clancy or whatever and yeah you know because they always do that because <laughs> you uh, always that's every single time you know you mention your family it's just you bring her up and i have to listen to it over and over again yeah Oh, I'm sorry. Did your grandmother know Tom Clancy? I'm sorry. Did, no. did you? Did your grandmother know? <laughs> but uh, yeah, my dad was looking it up because he was like, "Oh man, I wonder what, what." He was like, "You know what? I wonder what pops up when people who like look for our business look for me, like we'll Google my name." And this was one of the first results. <laughs> ah, this was like, the first no. result by the way, when I googled. When I googled, he was like, "No, Jib, look, Jib." <laughs> Jimmy guy, boy, the guy calls calls me like James Junior in the article or something, and I like hate it because it's like we don't even see how your names work. That's pretty funny. Yeah, what were we talking about? Um, I don't know. Oh yeah, reverse image searching. That's what it was. I was like, yeah, yeah so like, yeah, yeah reverse image searching. Fine. That was a cool feature that was on the phone. I think there's a there's another AI feature where it like uh. Uh, if you're like reading an article or something, you can use an uh, use the AI to kind of summarize the whole page for you. So like the AI will read the whole thing and then it'll give you a summary of whatever you're looking at. That's pretty cool. I thought that was pretty. I thought that was pretty cool. And then cool here's my favorite nerd. part, and probably your least favorite part: image editing. There's a lot of things you can do uh, that make image editing a lot easier. Why would that be my least favorite part? <laughs> Oh, well, you know. Oh, you know, James. You you know. I mean, I won't. I, I won't spoil it. You know, for you, everyone here. You got to just... edited pictures of me. Huh? Do you have edited pictures of me? Why would this be my least favorite part? I don't know. I guess you're just gonna have to find out. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to search up your name one of these days online and find out. <laughs> <laughs> you have like a deviant art. No, but it's like a thing where you could like. Uh, remove objects from the background or move objects around uh hmm. pretty easily in a photo oh, that was pretty cool i mean I, I don't think i'll ever have to use that because i'm not much of a photo guy i don't really take that many photos but i thought that was pretty neat that it's in there yeah other than that there's like a live translation hmm. so like uh you know you can have a voice call with someone and the phone will automatically translate whatever they're saying into like a paragraph on the screen that you can read uh, in a different language. So, hey, cool. 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 Also, the phone's really big. I should just mention that. It's it's pretty big. Yeah, but you also think a Glock is big. Well, I, I don't think it's big. Well, I mean, you know, it's... It's your little baby hands. I meant in like in, in context. You know, obviously the phone... I'm a goddamn beast. Obviously, you know, the phone's not big compared to you, James, you, but it's it's no. big compared to other phones. So, you know, it's probably the biggest phone that I've owned. It's quite a big bigger than my previous phone. And I have yeah. a, I, I, I just, that might have trouble because uh might not fit in my pocket. I just remembered, by the way, for that photo, we were wearing masks and the guy asked us to take them off for the picture. Oh, right. <laughs> Because it was COVID, we were but, wearing but masks. You're, but your family, you know, you, you guys look like you were the type of people who don't wear masks for uh, religiously. Yeah, my... So I think it fits. <laughs> yeah, okay. Fucking monkey pox. Holy crap, I've got a, like a zoomed in shot of that photo. My God. <laughs> was it a terrible idea for you to, to bend your head down? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I don't have to zoom in. I'm just looking at it. Yeah. I like how yeah, you, I think, your father I has like that, that amazing beard to like cover it up, but like you're like clean shaven. You've got like yeah, a this is, yeah, because I had just done the Ida cosplay like a little bit before this, so I had gotten it looks the like faded it, haircut. It, it looks like your fade face. your fade haircut is like bad. It's just like it, terrible fade. <laughs> again, it was just like around the time. Oh yeah, wait, this was back when I would shave all the time. I didn't just let it grow out. I forgot. Like your facial hair. Yeah, I was like addicted to the shaving because I was like, I don't like how I look, and then I just let it grow, and I'm like, I don't give a shit. And eventually, you're like, I I don't give a shit, and then it turns out yeah. to look better than when you're clean shaven. I, I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, you you you, I don't give a shit. You. I've been doing it for forty years and eight months. Not that I don't have an itinerary, because I do. I've been doing this. 
that's, that's what slurs. the dude said uh before uh, like his reason he gave for uh, closing the business down on i'm not gonna say it now you don't want to give <laughs> I'm gonna be like kanye in that, i'm gonna be like kanye in that video it's like now i'm not gonna say it i'm not gonna say where it is or who it is it's <laughs> dead by daylight it's failed yeah, skill failed. check <laughs> yeah that's that's pretty interesting james i don't think uh i don't think i'm up, up in anything i'll have to search my i'm gonna search myself up right now nope yeah you I'm look like a... grandma up you know what you'll find her in a tom clancy book yeah i'm not here that's good that's good that's what you sound like Oh, there's a oh, there's a person who has almost the same spelling of my as my first name and my last name, and he's on Facebook, and he's one of the per he's one of the first results. You might say one of the first persons. Yeah. Who is this? It's a girl. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Anyway, James, anything crazy happened in your life when uh, that you want to um, talk about? Or? Yeah, a few things. Um, mm -hmm. Where to start? Uh, my boss quit. Your boss quit? Yeah. So, sorry. Uh, remind me again. Was your boss one of the people that you were okay with, or was it moderately? He was technically in the position I was in. Uh, he he's like my boss in the technical sense. Uh, he mm -hmm. was in. He was in uh, the senior member of the sign shop. Was uh, he the dot? Was he the guy you had a chauffeur around? Or no, that's my boss. Boss. See, this is what I mean by like. Okay. So technically, I have three bosses. Because from have, from our conversations about your work, I've inferred that you've had multiple bosses, but you all yeah. just call. But you just call all of them boss. So I'm like, yeah. okay, I just have to. See, I just have to use what? context clues to determine to know which one you're talking about. Hey, I got a solid snake. It. Uh, this is yeah, naked it's, snake. This, this is a solid, solid snake, snake situation. This is liquid snake. This is solid or snake. This one's <laughs> venom snake, but he doesn't count because he's technically not one of them, but he looks like them. Uh, but yeah, no, this is the the sign shop boss. Uh, he yeah. quit because he'd been living by work in a in a uh, in a uh, motorhome type thing live is in a van down by the river yeah mm -hmm. outside of work uh that's a man dedicated really... to his work it, no more he didn't have somewhere to live and also we had had multiple break-ins at the place so it was nice to have somebody there to keep an eye on it people break into the sign shop uh it's three buildings and we have big yards full of equipment and shit and people have broken in people have stolen uh, batteries out of the trucks <laughs> wait like car batteries yeah they just steal what they just go in and steal the car battery yeah no we it it's not a safe place jd i don't i don't work in uh I, I work in grime and grub well it's okay that you don't work in a safe place because it's because it's you you can handle it i believe in you no like the pressure's caving in um <laughs> no that's the reason i quit <laughs> it's the reason i quit so many times <laughs> Okay. Getting me back, but um, yeah. So there was a couple of incidents that happened where he was being uh, harassed by one of the other employees constantly. And when bringing it up to our boss, boss, uh, I'll use the amount of times I say boss as a representative for where they stand. Oh, okay. So at least it's gonna be more like solid snake and then solider snake. That's like, yeah. You know. So technically, boss, boss, and boss, boss, boss are very similar uh, mm -hmm. with the position they hold. One's not above the other. Uh, but just for the sake of this conversation, I will literally never tell you about Boss 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 because I've never fucking seen him more than two times in my four years. Ah, uh, so he's like he works so in the building directly next to me. Mm -hmm. I go into that building pretty frequently. I've never once seen him. Well, he's just not building. a real person, James. No, he's an alternate who sometimes will appear and be like, I need something. He's an alternate of Boss Boss and. <laughs> <laughs> it only shows up whenever you don't see Bosman. <laughs> he, I've literally like seen him twice in my entire time there, and like I talk about him all the time. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what the guy sounds like. I vaguely like, know what he looks like. Is he like administration or something? He just deals deals with the office work. I don't know. You don't, don't know, know what, what he does. He does. Okay. No. 
I, I know his son is a uh, head of financing. Uh, and I kind of inferred what he, what the boss, boss, boss is like based off his son. You, you've met his son a bunch? Oh, so many times. We make signs for him all the time, like custom stuff. He's, he's cool. He's, nah, he's an all right dude. He's an all right dude. He's, he hasn't personally done anything to me. I feel like that's a pretty good, that's pretty amazing. Uh, like, uh, score for you to give someone because usually whenever i hear you talking about someone it's oh this guy's complete garbage he's trash but you're trash and nothing you know. you're made of dirt um but yeah you're trash boss, you're so. trash brock <laughs> <laughs> so my uh my boss had been getting harassed by another employee there who uh was just kind of giving him a lot of shit and was just being a complete piece of shit to him uh for the, the simple fact or- yeah, one of the other employees. Okay, so you treat this employee bad, and this employee treats your boss bad? No, I don't interact with people, JD. I, I mean, you have to. You're going to have to <laughs> You have to start from now on, because, you know, James, you're a, con- you're a oh. co-content creator, and no, sometimes you have to put yourself in the line of fire in order to get that scoop, you know? Mm-hmm. So... What's been happening is that this guy has been showing up to my boss's uh, trailer during like because he would work night shifts. And so when my boss is sleeping at that time in the trailer, again, outside of work, but not like directly like stopping anybody from working, there's parking up and down the street that we all take. And he's made it his the employee, he's made it his uh, goal to just completely fuck with this one person in particular. Your boss? Yeah, for no real reason. Other okay. than the fact that he's there. Well, I mean, it's funny like that he's there. No, it's not because it's become threats of killing him. <laughs> um, it's it started <laughs> with them like kind of just generally harassing him and like waking. Why him does up he? Do you and, know like, why this employee him. hates your boss so much? Oh, because he thinks he he can do whatever he wants. Oh, the employee can just thinks he can do whatever yeah, he, he wants. He he physically beat a person up a couple of years ago. And then made the remark that they can do whatever they want. And hey, they still work there and nothing really happened to them. They got I sent guess home they're for the not day. wrong then, you know? Yeah, it's unfortunate because this is an awful little literal white supremacist. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's about like five and a half, four feet four inches, uh five foot four. Uh obviously He's five Napoleon foot four? Complex. Yeah, he's short. Uh yeah, he's probably got some self esteem issues then. Yeah, he he Perhaps he acts like he works out, but from the multiple people at my workplace who've gone to the gym and work out with him, they say mm-hmm. he just stands in the mirror and says, "I'm I'm shredded." <laughs> and, I, and I and I was like, I mean, "That's not too that's not too dissimilar to what I do." Except I actually work out, and then after I work out, I stand I stand and stare in the mirror, and I go, "I'm shredded." Yeah, what they do is they just stand in the mirror the whole time. They do the and second part of what I do, just not the first part. What's really the funny is part. That- him and his direct uh, sidekick crony are yeah. basically our dynamic of squat and tall or squat. He's got, and skinny. he's got a, he's got a sidekick. He's got several, but his main one uh, is this tall lanky dude who somebody recently referred to as the AIDS guy. AIDS. Yeah. Because they thought he had AIDS. He doesn't. Okay. He's just very uh, like uh, toothpick thin. Very, yeah. Very lanky. Uh, looks sickly. Slender man. Slightly, uh, he's an alternate, yeah. Suspicions of being an alternate. Has deep circles under his eyes. Mm -hmm. Uh, very pale skin all the time. Okay. Yeah, they, so these people have been harassing my boss. And, uh, they've been just doing all sorts of shit to him. And recently they decided to escalate by starting to draw pictures of depicting him. Uh, uh Uh-huh. And his trailer and everything. And then uh, a person strung up in a tree. Totally normal behavior. Yeah, you know, it's definitely not fucking psychopaths I work with. (laughs) I mean, they feel like pretty down-to-earth guys, yeah. So uh, this was brought to the attention of my boss boss. Okay. And he, from what I've heard, didn't really do much about it, said, hey, knock it off, but has it taped to the back of his office door. And it is like a bunch of other evidence of the shit they've done. <laughs> uh huh. Like he's making a clue board. <laughs> okay. I don't know what he's going to do with it because he doesn't do anything whenever this stuff happens. So it's whatever. But, um, 
it, it's been escalating more and more. He'd go to the guy's trailer, and this was confirmed by another employee. He would park his truck in a specific way where the back of it was almost pressed up right against the trailer, and then he'd get out, start jumping and slamming himself against the trailer and make it sound like he hit it, would run back into the yeah. car. So he could try to provoke my boss into coming out screaming at him and making him look crazy. Okay. And he's done this for several things on several different occasions and continues to do it. He also comes into our shop and breaks our equipment intentionally. The employee? Uh, yeah. What? He just breaks stuff? Yep. Huh. Yeah, totally. To I mean, so far, it just sounds like a pretty funny prank. I don't... Yeah, yeah you know, really... uh, and then he escalated it recently. So my boss had to take off in the morning to go do something. Okay. And he left his trailer at work, but unhooked from it. Now, okay. his trailer was in a certain spot where if you were going to park there, you'd have to kind of finagle yourself to get in. Mm -hmm. And recently, we had a semi-truck parked up along the street that was taking up a bunch of parking spots. That recently moved. So we had a huge, huge area of the street now open for us to park. Mm -hmm. So now... The employee comes in that morning after he leaves, backs his truck up into it, slams it against the hitch of the trailer, hitting it, by the way. Okay. Uh, side note to the story, there are kittens in that trailer. We're kittens who were abandoned and we were taken care of, and my boss specifically had put in that trailer and was taking care of them. So he okay. hit the trailer that was holding them. Okay. Firstly. Is it like a my big hit or was it like a tap? or Big hit. Oh, so he and just like rams into it? Yeah, rams into it with his back hitch into it to hit the trailer thing to try and break it so that he couldn't get into it. Like, he okay. could use it again, but also to, like, kind of just throw it around and make a big deal of it because he wants to be a fucking prick. So he parks there, so now my boss can't park there where his trailer is to hook up. Mm -hmm. Again, there's an entire strip of the street now open for people to park. His excuse is that was a parking space that he needed because there was nowhere else to park. Okay. It was the first thing in the morning. There were like four other employees there, maybe. We have like 20-something guys on payroll, so there was more than enough spaces. Okay. My boss shows back up, sees this. He goes park somewhere. He brings it up to the guy like, hey, what the hell are you doing? Like, why'd you do that? And then, by the way, other employees are like, hey, why did you park there? You know, he's, that's going to cause a problem. He's aware of that. He's smiling. Does apparently a <laughs> chuckle. He chuckles. To what do they call it. that when you're like smiling because you've done something bad? Is like a... Smart. Oh no, it was like a miss, like a, well, I, I don't remember the term for it, but just keep going, going. Um, so I, I, this is a half hour before I even show up for work, apparently, uh, mm -hmm. is when this incident occurs. But he's talking to him, the employee starts pushing him and everything, like literally poking with his finger and then shoving him and stuff. So my boss okay. then walks away as the, the boss boss comes out, tells him to knock it off and everything. Mm -hmm. So, my boss goes back to his truck, gets his things, his hands are now full, is walking back to the shop to clock in for the day. The employee comes out of nowhere, smacks him. Okay. Smacks him so hard, he knocks his glasses off, my boss's glasses, sends them from our building to the other side of the street. Uh-huh. This is a four-lane like, street. Like, like, that's like slaps him? Just across the slaps face? Him. Yeah, and hits the glasses all the way across the street, then begins to chase him, and then trips my boss into a rock bed that we have by, beside our shop. Uh-huh. He just, he just assaults him? He just assaults him. <laughs> <laughs> that, that just that's, a pretty, that's a pretty funny prank, man. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, and then uh, he, like, goes on, and, like, my, apparently my boss is, like, you know, getting his face fucking kneeling at him about it. Uh, apparently the employee then runs inside, tries to make a deal to everybody that he was the one that assaulted. <laughs> that always he, works man would you like to hear what he's claiming happened but is not cooper cooperated by anybody sure what, what happened he says he was spit on hey that was cooperated by me i support that got spit it on and then that's why he did that man firstly overreaction it's secondly just, what no is, it didn't because there are like seven <laughs> people watching that said no that didn't it's, happen it's just it's just like you know in my mind i'm thinking right now just uh man what'd you your boss is such a horrible person. What did he do to deserve this? Like, holy crap. He parked at work. <laughs> yeah, um, that sounds terrible, though. What the... 
actually so, sounds insane. I almost don't believe you. I know, and I didn't believe it because I came to work and everybody was like, I didn't believe it. I saw it. I, I was being, I was, I show up to work like half hour later, like, do, 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 do. hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Friday Eve is what is what we now say to try and be a bit optimistic about Thursdays. Uh, okay. This was this last Thursday, by the way. <laughs> okay. Uh, and he and one of my uh, other employees, the new guy, Nazi Stomper Ed. Uh, yeah. That's his title, by the way. Yeah. Uh, you know, you say that's his title every single time you you mention him. I know. <laughs> it's not I love that that's his title. That's how he was introduced to me. Um, But he turns to me and he's like, man, you missed a very interesting morning. And I'm like, oh, really? Did I? What? Did they get the wrong signs? What again? could possibly like, be so interesting? He's like, your <laughs> boss got assaulted. <laughs> and I'm like, excuse me? What happened? And then they explain it to me. Yeah, and I look over at them. What? Uh, yeah, I do that. What? As he's so, explaining uh, the story to you, you're just Kurt Angle staring at him. <laughs> so what happened after that, be again, before I got there, is that okay. my boss boss came out, started screaming at the employee, mm -hmm. saying, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck? Like, what the fuck are you doing? And stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then apparently the employee starts screaming at him. Okay. And my boss said to me when he was explaining, he was like, when I heard that, it was the same way he was yelling at me when he was attacking me. So I thought he was going to attack our boss. Uh huh. So my boss runs out thinking his boss, the boss boss, is about to get fucking attacked. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he's like, man, I really hope they don't think I was just going to go whoop up on him for no reason. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, he gets, as they say, 86th. Uh, AKA he was thrown out. Yeah, banned. Yeah. He gets ban like banned for the day, by the way. Banished. Just for <laughs> banished for the day only, which is crazy. Your boss gets banished or is it? No, the employee. Okay. The guy who attacked and assaulted somebody else on work grounds yeah. gets just sent out for a day. You know, we'll yeah, it's like a, like a kick ban. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's literally a kick <laughs> ban. It's literally a neon got a kick band. hit and run. Yeah. <laughs> Threatening the murder in an 11-year-old and other things. <laughs> Three-day three ban. Uh, Two-day ban. Two-day ban. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you're, you're, the employee gets 86th and then... And then uh, I'm talking to him about it and he's talking to the boss. He's like, hey, I'm going to press charges and get a fucking like restraining order if you guys do not take care of this person. This has been ongoing. And the boss just you know, says... That sounds, pretty, have... that sounds pretty reasonable. Actually... I'm going to take that back. It's just, it's just a prank, bro. Like if you can't handle a prank, wh why even, why even exist? You know? So my, my, uh, my boss is told by the boss boss, do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so he says, cool, I'm taking the rest of the day off. Then he just leaves work and everything. Uh, and then he takes the next day off on Friday as well. And we're there and I'm pulling in and I look over at one of the work trucks as they're passing me as I'm pulling into work. And I don't recognize who's in the passenger seat, but I see who's in the driver's seat. It's the sidekick, by the way. Sidekick? Okay. AIDS man. Um, AIDS? <laughs> AIDS man? Yeah. AIDSman? AIDS, AIDSman? And uh, <laughs> I see him, and I, I see him waving at me, and I personally did not have any problem with him, because he wasn't part of the situation, but he's like a little fucking crony loser. Uh, okay. He waved to me, so I lift my hand and wave to him as I pass by. And again, I look at the passenger seat. They're waving at me as well. I don't know who it is because I can't recognize him. Okay. It turned out to be the employee who was thrown out that day. Back. Oh, so already, he was in the passenger. To me. Well, of course you wouldn't recognize him. He's too short. His head—it's only the top of his head that pokes out, out through the tail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm sorry if you're if you're short as us. I don't have a problem with you except everything. <laughs> I only have a problem with you when you become my enemy. Then I target your disability. Yeah, and then I target something that you're not in control of. <laughs> and then I start making fun of things. <laughs> that I you're grab not in you by the shoulders, show you how much taller I am than you, and smile and say, fall. Do, do that meme where it's like how to talk to short people correctly. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah. Nazi Stomper Ed. Uh, yep. That's his title, by the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he uh he he was telling me when he first met that guy he like was getting really annoyed immediately when he first met him so what he did is because nazi stomper ed is a super tall dude uh like i think over six foot yeah nazi something. nazi stomper ed definitely he, his title he, by the way 
his title. That's what he's is. <laughs> that's his actual title. He uh, does it's, come across to me as like a huge man. His, he he's tall, uh, and he's by because the name obviously is not like a a weak dude. He's had many fights and whatnot, and has the missing teeth to back it up. <laughs> Um, he, he was, uh, he was telling me when he first met him, he kind of like put his hand around the guy's shoulder, made sure he understood how much taller than him he was, and, like looked down at him and said, Hey little buddy, it's okay guy. <laughs> that's, the, that's, yeah, that's probably the, one of the best things to say to someone who's like super insecure about their height is you grab him by the shoulder. You, you, you like emphasize the fact that your head is much, the top of your head is a lot taller than the top of his head. And you say, it's okay, little buddy. I wish I was there to see it, but again, this was before I came back to work. I but, would love uh, yeah. to. I would love to have that moment on, on like a on video and have a caption over it that says that when the top when the six foot two tall goth GF <laughs> talks to me at IOP. <laughs> so um, on Friday, he's still there. By the way, again, he came back. My boss did not show back up and was not aware that the guy. Uh, he he had said to me like, "Hey, I'm literally not going to be here." until that guy's fired okay um and so i didn't know if he was aware that the guy was still there he showed up to collect his check later on came and talked to us talked shit for a little bit we're like hey so what's the deal and he's like yeah you know i'm just taking the day off for now and we're talking and i like realize he doesn't know so i go he's still here by the way uh-huh and my boss is like he's here right now i'm like no not in the building but he's clocked in his truck's out there and i pass by him on my way in he's not he's not here here He's here out there. Well, because there was like a little bit of a conversation before that where I was saying like, yeah, he's here. And he's like, he's here. And he like started looking around. And I had to like go over and he's like, but he's here. And I'm like, I mean, that's that's a classic James. Working. That's a he's classic James thing to do is when, you know, it, you know, James says something that's that's slightly vague and then it's also threatening. And so, you know, it causes someone some anxiety and then james has to be has to run it back and be like no 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 it's it's not exactly what you think <laughs> anyway continue I, I, james i said he's 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 back at work firstly is what i first said and then he's like oh is he's here and i'm like no he's not here right now and so that's how the conversation got there that's why i was like no it's not here here and that's yeah, sure just just question. change up the story all of a sudden if, you know it's, it's okay hey, hey, i mean i, I, I can't hey, i can't fact you, check it you sound like so that. you <laughs> you james you 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 jd you sound like yeah but um so <laughs> so yeah he uh i tell him that he's still here and he's like, did he say anything about it? I said no. And, I'm, and uh, according to Nazi Stumper, that's his title, by the way. Um, he, when he showed up that morning, he seemed very smug and full of himself, walking with like swagger in his walk and whatnot. <laughs> the exaggerated like swagger of a, of a, of <laughs> a, a, mid, a middle-aged short white man. <laughs> middle-aged sh short white person. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He, yeah. So my boss said, oh, okay, cool. See you then. And then left. So that confirms that. So I your boss isn't like too. fire? Isn't like, a, he hasn't quit? Or is he just... No, he, he was like just taking the time off and was going to come back in and try to discuss it. But when he saw that, like they literally just brought him back the next day, he said, okay, cool. See you then. I don't think I'm going to be seeing him Tuesday. Uh-huh. Okay, so you don't know if he's like officially quit. No, he, he said, I'm getting a restraining order before Lini leaving so he's oh okay so he is quitting he's gone yeah okay I which see. is totally great because by the way he definitely is the only person who knows the passwords to our plotter the machine that cuts our signs okay <laughs> and so we can't get into the computer that's great and so, so what's what's gonna be the deal now is you gotta have to find a new boss your uh, boss no, boss has to find it, a new boss or is it just gonna no it's more gonna be one either me or eddie i think eddie because he seems more equipped with the uh, whole way the plotter works are gonna be moving you mean on nazi to... stomper ed sorry that's I his title by the way title. nazi stomper ed his title by the way he's gonna be moving on to the plotter and uh cutting signs more than likely and i'll be still in the sign shop because i'm not and then you guys it. just won't have a boss or is someone yeah, you gonna get promoted to like a mutual thing from then on okay i see but um yeah until he comes back that's probably going to be the case but yeah uh i just everybody like cooperated like yes he was directly attacked and assaulted and my boss boss is like 
you can come back tomorrow. It's it's uh, just crazy. just don't it's, do it again. It's okay. Just, it's just bad shit crazy the fucking way this workplace works. And I turned to Eddie. I turned to Nazi Stop Eddie. And I said to him, and I was like trying to make it clear, like, hey, I get that you need this job. Like, I get that you need it. I'm more than fucking happy to just call it here and get the fuck out of here because I do not want to be near these people anymore. <laughs> I don't know, James. I feel like it really builds your character to be around people like the like these, and um, you know, it just uh, life's just full of ups and downs, mostly downs for you. And sometimes you just gotta deal with it. You know, just be a man, James. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, me with the invincible. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh Wow, it's a pretty interesting development. Uh, well, you know, I'm, uh, I'll have to uh, inform your workplace that uh, I'm the new boss that's going to be coming in, so. You're the boss, baby? I'm going to be the boss, 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 boss. So. Can you say that five times fast? Boss, 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 boss. And you're going to be taking orders from me. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to quit without telling anyone the uh, the code. For the the ply the the cutter. Yeah, what's it called? The uh, the plier, the the plower, the um, the pillager. It kind of sounds like an animal. It's it's With it's just a thing. That, I I, I don't work in the shop. You know, I'm I'm above that. I I work uh, up in the office, in the third building. So. Mm -hmm. Which which building is the third building, JD? It's the one on the uh, north side. So no, <laughs> there is no north side. No, it's the northmost building. Not too smart now, are you? Anyway, James, Multiverses is uh getting a full release now. Yeah, I thought it already was. <laughs> I, it, it might have. I don't know. I've only heard it. I heard it like once in passing and then I didn't look it up. So I maybe it's out right now in full. Remember when we remember the time when we played multiverses? Remember the time. Remember yeah, I the do. time when it was dun, 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 dun. I do. I remember that. It was it was a good time. And we and we and we'd go this guy bothering you. <laughs> yeah. Well, James, you say it like that. <laughs> the biggest pause. Then, yeah. Why are you taking offense to the way I say it? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I've got to go to my workplace tomorrow and change up a bunch of things on the mm -hmm. schedule because, mm -hmm. uh. What they did is I, so here's, here's going to be my plan for like the next month and a half mm -hmm. or almost two months. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm doing two jobs. Technically mm -hmm. I'm working as a dealer in two different jobs mm -hmm. and I'm planning on taking the, the morning shift in one and the night shift in another. So, and it's probably going to be almost every day. Mm -hmm. So every day I'm going to be working double shift. Uh, any days that I'm off, we're going to have to record the uh, the crapshoot on those days. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we can get one recorded, pre-recorded be before next week, because next week is when my uh, jobs start. Um, Do you want to pre-record one now? Uh, maybe not right now. Maybe like later. We still have like a couple days uh, okay. before it happens. So we'll take what, a couple what, days. You, you work tomorrow, right? Uh no, no next okay, next perfect. week on the on Tuesday. Perfect. Or Tuesday no tomorrow Wednesday is my first shift, but Tuesday is when I'm when I start. I'm on call Tuesday, which means not really working. So, well, that's crazy because didn't ask. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm I don't mean to be like no that. James. You you be yourself, James. You. Okay. This is the real Fuck you. you. I know um, you. I know you always complain about your coworkers and stuff. But if you could do the things that your coworkers do, yeah, you would. You would do it. 
<laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man, totally. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, shit, I was going to say, because tomorrow's Memorial Day, I have that off, so we could record something then. Do one of the oh. food things, maybe. Oh, tomorrow? Y- yeah. Well, tomorrow's, tomorrow's the day I have to go in and change my schedule. Because apparently, you can't change your schedule or request schedule changes through email. You have to go into the office and su- submit a form. I'll go with you. It's, it's so long. It's going to take a long time. Yeah. And we'll record it as it takes the time. And it's, I don't think we can record anything during that time. That'll be the episode, Hidden Camera. We're going to have to go downtown. Downtown. And both William, William's going to be there. It'll be my first time meeting him for the crap shoot. My mother's going to be there. First time meeting her with (laughs) monkeypox. You're always going to hold that over your head. (laughs) I absolutely will. If I ever talk to her, I'm going to look her dead in the eyes and say monkey pox. (laughs) I don't think she's even she's even mentioned it now. (laughs) I can't believe she mentioned it at all. That's crazy. She mentioned it once and I was like, I don't think that's really true. And she's like, "Okay." And then that's that's it. That was it. Well, James, if, uh, if there's nothing else, then I uh, guess we can oh, end it here. Bitch. Sorry, what was that? Huh? If you guys enjoyed, you should subscribe. Because we do oh, wait, these I, I every... I have one more thing. Which is a quick thing. Okay, yeah, just do it Doing do it right when I start doing the outro instead so of doing I've it right after I ask you if you have anything else. I've been for four days now, and it's a really good price, and it's been a problem because it's been like, Jesus Christ, they're like every day it's like 21 people have viewed this within the last 24 hours, and it's like really like to get it because it's such a good price and be really nice to get and whatnot. And uh, this morning was the final time for it, so I woke up an hour before it ended at six o'clock so I could monitor it, and I was kind of just sitting there watching it tick down and everything. I got to the last five minutes, I'd say. And uh, mm-hmm. it was it was really annoying because that's when somebody started up up doing mine by fifty cents. Okay. And so then I would be like, okay, who now I will update mine, and then to be like, eh, actually, the moment you updated yours, I updated mine. <laughs> I mean, that's just kind of how bidding works, right? Uh, no, it's the annoying way eBay's works, uh, but it's not how it works literally anywhere else. Mm. you can update it but you gotta wait for somebody else to do it it's not hey you know you're about to do it you're in the window to do it you click the button and i have a bot that does it literally the moment you submit yours mine submits 50 cents more so can't you just submit a really large number and then the bot is just gonna just but, gonna... The... but no because the bot did quit out after a few like okay. it stopped and then I think they manually came in or something because it was like they sat and waited for it till the literal last fucking second. JD, they yeah. changed it at the three second mark. And it takes let's by the way, it takes three seconds, more than three seconds to change the amount. OK, so they fucking baited it. And it's so fucking annoying because I was the only person sitting on this bid for four days straight. I was the only person, and I was like, "It's a good price." <laughs> Nobody else is like, "Put a bid it's on it." Living it's just in the back me. of your mind, rent free. Yeah, it is because it's a fucking annoying thing because they come in last minute and are like, <laughs> come in last minute, and, and they wag their finger like, "Nah, uh, 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 and it's like, you know, I really wanted to get this because it was like less than uh fucking fifteen dollars, and the normal one is like over fifty. So mm-hmm. I didn't want to get the normal one, and this one had everything I was looking for. I'm like, perfect, it'll complete what I got. Perfect, said James, unaware of what he's about to experience. Dude, it, like, it genuinely fucking pissed me off this morning when I woke up and just sat, like, at 6 o'clock, fucking sitting there, hit 60, 658 when the, when the fucking thing ends, and it's like, last fucking second, they're like, 50, per- 50 cents more! 
<laughs> you like Giancarlo Esposito where he's laughing and then he goes into the into the frown face. Well, yeah, because they 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 like they let me have it for like the last like twenty seconds. They just didn't interact. They stopped bidding and everything. And again, that's why I think it went from a bot to manual because it was no longer the instant thing. It was me sitting there, me constantly updating it over and over and over again. And you have to manually update eBay. It doesn't update itself. You have to update it. So I had yeah. to manually do the whole fucking scroll to the top of the screen thing over and over and over and over again to try and make sure I wasn't about to fucking lose this. Three seconds left. It doesn't give me a notification, by the way, until the bid ends that I've been outbid. Yeah, <laughs> that, was the, that was that was. I the mean, it's thing. just it's just the luck of the draw. It's called it's the, called the I fastest think, gun in the West. No, it's called being the guy standing in the shadows that shoots you after you did the shootout and already won. <laughs> You didn't win, James. You didn't already yeah, win. It was did. twenty I seconds. Beat the I beat the gunman. Then his little had twenty four seconds. It's 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 a, it's a situation where you think you won, but no, actually, some, the sun him. hasn't set yet, and no, the guy I isn't dead. Him. I shot him. He's dead. You shot and, and you thought you hit I him, but you him. actually no, no, hit his no, bulletproof no, no, vest no, that he was wearing in the wild wild west. No, I shot him. He was dead, and then some little fuck came out of the shadows with a knife stabbed me several times then ran back into the shadows while giving me the middle finger knowing i'm not gonna be able to do anything about it because he just stabbed me in the fucking ribs several times i mean i thought they would have like uh i thought they would have that kind of protection on bids where if you bid in like the last no. in like the in, if you bid in the like the last 30 seconds it would extend the bid time like by like two minutes or something no no ebay it's, it's why i don't like going to ebay but it's like the unfortunate place I have to go because, like, if I don't go there, I'm gonna have to be buying it full fucking price. It's like the I, only I remember, place I, I remember icing for things. I remember the only time I've ever done bidding on anything is uh, Minecraft prison servers when I played on Minecraft prison servers in like middle school, and they would have okay. biddings like bids on items there. And this was like right at the start. So before any bidding protection was in place, that exact situation happens all the time where like the clock's ticking down and everyone submits their bid in like the last second because <laughs> because if you submit your bid before the last second, like everyone just try to like uh, one up each other. They try to pull the rug on everyone else. And then so because that kept happening, uh, then they would add in a system where if you bid within like the last like 30 seconds it would extend the bid time just so it's, it's less uh, it's Minecraft less scummy can do it, yeah can't. <laughs> i'm surprised ebay still has that that kind of thing in there where they just let I, the clock I run down wish... and whatever bid you submit in within the time limit right on the dot it works no it's so fucking annoying because like i've lost several items to a fucking thing like this before so yeah. it was really annoying to have one where again, nobody interacted till the final twenty fucking like minutes. Of course, Sorry, it's because the they want to they want to pull the rug on uh, you, James. You idiots like you who don't don't do that thing where they bid last second. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, how could I have beaten the fucking machine? Goddamn, fuck you, automation AI. Fuck your phone, JD. I'm gonna break it when I see it. So what was that? You heard me. Not, nothing. I mean, James, it's it wasn't AI. It was a dude. It was a dude who sat there, stared at the thing in the last the last three dude. seconds, and he pressed it was okay. A dude. He it said was he a dude saw talking. that he saw that you had the bid and the twenty second. He's like, this guy totally thinks he he won this. But guess yeah, what? This, this dude's name is the employee. <laughs> yeah. This dude. This dude stared at me. He shot his gun first, and I pretended like I was hit. And then when he turned his back, I, I actually pulled out my gun and shot him anyway. So yeah, you got played. Howard fucking bitch. You got you got played. Everybody in town will look at you and know what you are. But yeah, but you're can. dead, James. You're dead. You're dead, James. Yeah, and I'll be remember this. You don't have it. Barely. You don't have this not item. The, you were shot. Brook, not as a loser who sat. It doesn't there matter how you get it, James. It only matters at the end of the day who has it, and you don't. You, well, James. You don't have it. He technically doesn't have it yet either. Uh, does he have to like, ship don't. it to him? Yeah, it's not automatic. It's eBay. That's eBay. right. I mean, but he bought it, so it's just a matter of time. If you guys enjoyed, you should subscribe. I didn't. And <laughs> we do this every Sunday.
If you like James, you can check him out in the description below. All his links are there. Um, and that's it from me. James, bring us out. So I, what I was ordering was the Headmaster... Uh